Hi, I'm Dr. Simmons, and today I'm making homemade potato salad. I've already boiled the potatoes, red bell pepper, and celery, and drained off the fluid. I go ahead and boil those because there are certain anti-nutrients in those foods that the boiling helps to inactivate, such as oxalates, which can cause kidney stones and other anti-nutrients that can block absorption of nutrients in the body. Potatoes are a great source of potassium. Potassium can help with lowering blood pressure and also has a calming effect and helps with muscle relaxation. The red bell peppers are a great source of vitamin C, which is an antioxidant and important for immunity. The red bell peppers stay on the vine longer than the orange, yellow, and green, so they're more nutritious and they taste sweeter. Now, celery is a very interesting food. It has a high water content and it's low calorie. There are certain compounds in the celery which may help in preventing stomach ulcers and improving the stomach lining, and that's called apiumin. There are also different minerals in the celery, which can help to counter acidic foods. So all of that can help with the stomach. There's also a compound called apigenin, which is an antioxidant. It belongs to a large class of antioxidants called flavonoids, and those are polyphenols. Antioxidants are free radical scavengers, and they help to counter oxidative stress in the body. And in doing so, they have anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and anti-cancer effects. And they can also potentially help in lowering the LDL or bad cholesterol. This compound, apigenin, has also been shown in some research studies to promote what's called adult neurogenesis. That means the production of new brain cells or neurons in adults. A lot of times stem cells are thought of as just being in the embryo or in early stages of development, but actually there are stem cells in adults which have the potential to form into different types of cells. So a stem cell or progenitor cell may end up becoming a kidney cell or a red blood cell or a brain cell, a neuron. Most of the neuron progenitor cells or stem cells in adults are in the area called the hippocampus. That's a part of the brain that's involved with memory formation. New memories have to go through the hippocampus in order to reach long-term storage in the brain. And so it makes sense that some of these new neuronal progenitor cells could be in that area. These particular cells in the area of the hippocampus can form into different types of brain cells because there's other cells in the brain besides neurons, but they can also become neurons. When I did my undergraduate studies at Stanford University, that's where I got my bachelor's of science in biological sciences, I did my honors thesis in the area of adult neurogenesis and I looked at how exercise could induce this neurogenesis in the brain. But I'm, I find it really interesting that this compound in celery, based on this other study that was done in San Diego, um, may potentially induce neurogenesis. It gives hope for the future for memory conditions and dementia, because a long time ago it was thought that once neurons were formed, that was it, that there couldn't be any new neurons formed. But this shows that there is a potential for new neurons to be formed in adults, and so that's exciting for the future. Now I'm also adding to this mixture some mustard and mayonnaise, and I'm going to add in a little bit of maple syrup. So I'm going to mix all of these together. This mayonnaise, by the way, is homemade mayonnaise, and that way I know everything that went into it and I make sure that there's no preservatives or added sugars. It's pretty easy and quick to make and has a great flavor. Sometimes I make my own homemade mustard, but I've also been able to find mustard in the store that's organic and does not have any preservatives or added sugars. 
So I always check those labels. And then I like to use maple syrup as a sweetener because it has a lower glycemic index than table sugar. Um, and so that helps with blood sugar regulation. And it also has many minerals like manganese and zinc, which are good for the body. So I'm gonna mix all of this together. The potato salad is a great dish. I like to eat some now and save some in the refrigerator for later. It can go on its own or with other meals. And I really like to have it any time of the year. Mmm, and that's it. It's pretty quick and easy, but delicious. And it looks great too. I'm Dr. Simmons, living a better life.